scientists are raising concerns about a potential solar superstorm, emphasizing the possibility that it could disrupt the Internet globally for an extended period, with Indian astronomers specifically cautioning that the upcoming solar storm's intensity might lead to significant Internet issues lasting weeks. Taking the threat of upcoming solar flares seriously is advised. Scientists exploring the sun's behavior have uncovered a fresh connection between its magnetic field and sunspot cycle, aiding in forecasting peak solar activity. While NASA initially anticipated the next solar maximum in late 2025, a recent study by Dr. Deepan Dunandi suggests an earlier arrival, possibly in early 2024. Dr. Nandi acknowledges uncertainty in predicting storm intensity, but hints at exciting prospects for Aurora enthusiasts in 2024. However, caution arises as some experts see the swift increase in sunspots as a potential precursor to a significant Carrington event. In simpler terms, the sun's magnetic activity affects sunspots, hinting at a vibrant 2024 for Aurora seekers, but potential risks warrant attention. Approximately every 11 years, the sun undergoes a fascinating event where its magnetic field completely flips, causing the north and south poles to switch places. This phenomenon, known as a solar cycle, has notable effects on the sun's surface activity, particularly in the form of sunspots, which result from changes in the sun's magnetic fields. Scientists use the count of sunspots as an indicator to track the solar cycle. The cycle begins with a solar minimum, characterized by the sun having the fewest sunspots. As time progresses, solar activity increases, leading to the solar maximum, the point when the sun boasts the most sunspots. Eventually, the cycle subsides, returning to the solar minimum, marking the completion of one cycle and the initiation of a new one. In examining historical data, a Swiss astronomer named Max Waldmeier left a valuable legacy in the study of solar cycles. In 1935, he made an intriguing observation now known as the Waldmeier effect. He noted that the speed at which a sunspot cycle rises correlates with its strength. Faster rising cycles tend to be stronger. This insightful discovery serves as a kind of crystal ball for scientists, offering them a tool to estimate the strength of a sunspot cycle. Today, scientists continue to follow the trail of cosmic clues left by Waldmeier utilizing his findings to predict when the sun will reach its solar maximum and shed light on the mysteries of our star's magnetic dynamics. Initially, NASA anticipated the next solar maximum occurring in 2025, but Indian astronomers, led by Dr. Nandi, have unearthed a new correlation. By analyzing decades-old data from global ground-based solar observatories, they found a link between the decrease in the sun's dipole magnetic field and the rise of the ongoing sunspot cycle. Essentially, when sunspots are minimal, the dipole field is at its maximum strength. But as the sunspot cycle ascends, the large-scale solar dipole field weakens, assuming a more complex configuration. It vanishes during the sunspot cycle peak, then flips direction, and slowly grows again. Contrary to NASA's prediction, Indian astronomers now suggest that the next solar maximum might arrive earlier than expected, around early 2024. Their concern is the potential strength of this upcoming solar activity, warning that it could lead to disruptions in the world's internet for several weeks. This is particularly worrisome, as intense solar storms during a solar maximum can cause significant issues for Earth's communication systems. The most severe storms might even result in catastrophic orbital decay of low Earth orbiting satellites, disrupting vital satellite-based services such as communications and navigational networks. The researchers draw parallels to the historic Carrington incident of 1859, where an observer near London, Richard Carrington, witnessed a remarkable event in the skies. While sketching sunspots on September 1st, he was temporarily blinded by an intense solar flash. Initially, he thought his observation equipment had been damaged due to the brightness of the event. This raises questions about the potential impact of the upcoming solar maximum and whether it could lead to an event akin to the historic Carrington incident. Carrington rushed outside and noticed the bright spots had disappeared. Little did he know, he had just witnessed a huge eruption on the sun's surface called a coronal mass ejection. Normally it takes days for these solar bursts to reach Earth 
but this one only took 17 and a half hours. While Earth's magnetic field usually shields us from these solar storms, a really strong one can mess with our magnetic shield. Back in 1859, there was a massive solar storm called the Carrington Event. It created amazing auroras, but also messed up electrical systems in Europe and North America. This event released energy equal to 10 billion megatons of TNT from the sun. Nowadays, scientists worry that if this happened again, it could cause big problems for the Internet. Extreme voltages might mess up our electrical grids, possibly damaging undersea cables that power a lot of the world's Internet. People are talking online about the chance of this happening again, especially as we approach a peak period of solar activity in 2024. There's worry that something like the Carrington event could happen next year, messing with our highly connected world. The Royal Observatory in Belgium found a lot of sunspots, more than usual. NASA's prediction was off, and scientists aren't sure why the sun is so active. We need to study this more to understand what's happening. Even though this solar cycle isn't the strongest, it might still cause issues. We haven't faced something this extreme before, and we're not sure how our stuff would handle it.